listen to that intro music, I got some Joker theme song, drone vibes, or no, maybe some lawnmower at 9am vibes, I don't know, something in the Atari era of consoles. Honestly, being a babysitter is the very last job I'd do. I'd rather clean sewers. I'd rather climb cell towers and go back down 10 times a day. I'd rather fight in some unjustified war. I'd rather be a YouTuber. Hi, Sarah. We're so glad you could come on such short notice. Billy is really excited to see you. No problem, Mrs. Johnson. I'm not even gonna give a voice to Sarah. Before we go, do you have any questions? How can I reach you? You might want to write down this number. 555-7898. Anything else? What time should I put Billy to bed? Don't worry about that. He picks his own bedtime. Also, feel free to do whatever he says. We must be going. Talk when you get back. Fuck off, God. I need my payment. The power button appears to be broken. Of course, because this game's plot needs to move forward somehow. Christ, if only I could have chosen my own bedtime when I was a kid. I highly doubt I'll ever actually get paid for this shift, which is what I keep on saying every time I see the revenue stream spike and realize AdSense keeps withholding the payment. Speaking of tubes, turn on the TV? Of course. Let's see if Halloween is on the air. The button appears to be broken. Guess that little meth child is gonna have to be bored for a while. Alright, let's find the remote. Of course, we didn't walk this far for nothing. Yes, get the flashlight. The TV is on. Christ, I've heard a lot of annoying phones in my lifetime, and this is probably a contender for the top spot. Don't lie, don't lie. The game is up. The demons drill my legs to hell for you sit in your ivory tower. Don't you judge me, I see all. Out of all the random numbers the local angel dust addicts have to dial, it just had to be the one to this residence. Hello? Hey, Sarah. Jill. You scared the shit out of me. Huh? With your phone mumbling bullshit. Phone mumbling? When you just called. Are you off your meds again? I didn't call. If it wasn't you, then who? Hey, remember that guy from the mall? Are you going to call him? Uh, yes. You slut. What are you going to say? I don't know. I wrote down his number, but I left it in my coat. You better get it and call me after you talk to him. Remember, my number is 555-8345. Bye. I'm definitely sure her number will come in handy and actually serve a purpose. Looking for this? Jack's number. Give that back. You're gonna have to come get it. Oh my god, this absolute prick of a child. Jesus, I'd complain more, but that would get us booted off this platform. So all I can say is that I wish she'd get brutally carved up and slaughtered in this video game. Fine, I'll give it back. All right, let's call Jack. Hello? Hey Jack, it's Sarah from the mall. Oh, hey Sarah. Are you doing anything fun tonight? Drinking, smashing mailboxes, and tipping cows? Cool. What? Hey, I'm actually out of liquor. We can hang out if you have some. I think I can get some. Come over at 11.30. Sure. Bye. Hey, Billy, do your parents have a liquor cabinet? Yeah, but you can't open it without the key. So where's the key? I'll only give it to you if you cook me something. You little bastard. What a fucking ring your throat. I need a way to get rid of Billy. Isn't there a gun in a closet somewhere? Anyway. Oh yeah, because cooking totally isn't one of the most mundane and mind-numbingly boring things you can do. What a riveting video game. I'm hungry. Here, eat this. Cereal? At night? Give me the key, please. Whatever this potion is, please let it make me instantly black out, because after the fact, I'll doubt that I want to remember this job or this sex. Christ, was that cereal Xanax pills or was vodka the milk? Unlock the door. And if you thought this scene was Jack doing a fake out. Give yourself a game devs credit. You're an asshole. Ha <laughs> ha You should see the look on your face. I'm not talking to you. Hey, come on, lighten up. It's Friday night. So what do you want to do? Well, I was thinking we could, you know, I love this movie. I'm going to get a beer. What was that? Uh, I suspect it was Billy. Yes, get the VHS tape. I heard somebody out there. Better get Jack. I heard a noise in the backyard. So what? So check it out. What if someone's out there? Then beat them up. But I want to watch the movie. Go look. Now. Fine. God, first she wants Dick, then she wants him to check on the homicidal sanitarium escapee lurking outside. She'd best hope she's the best sex haver in a 100 mile radius because she asks everything of this kid. Don't think if you bottles of Heineken can fix everything. You're gonna have to give something major. Also, just know that I'm not one of those red pill types. Okay? Just so y'all know. I don't know about this. Just go check. I don't want to. Please. Okay. Well, at least we know something nefarious is going on out there. That doesn't necessarily mean we have to check. Shit! What happened to the light? Because I have no choice. Well, since there's nothing else in this house we've found that resembles a weapon, we might as well. And- Oh! Sarah has the power to drastically alter the shapes and sizes of objects. Minimize the size of Burr's knife, please. Jumping Jesus! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Run, 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 run
Hey, why'd you wake me up? Billy, I need you to run and find somewhere to hide. Why? Do it! Shit, I'm fast as fuck, boy. You'll never catch me. Right, since we didn't get the screwdriver while we were out here previously, we'll get it now. Christ, so close to his dick. <laughs> he just falls down like that, ass up. Okay. Again, I don't actually think this guy needs speed or strength or anything, seeing as he can just sense where you are at any moment. Sonar from the Dark Knight style. Oh, okay, I guess he stopped chasing me. Oh god, he really does have an actual sense of object permanence. Make your coming out of the closet jokes now. Open the hatch. Yes, of course. Of course we need the bedroom key. These bolt cutters are essential to our master plan that'll get us out of here. Since we actually haven't fucked yet, there's a high probability that we will be this game's final girl. Alright, let's store these. Don't need that. Don't need that. Hide. Yes, it's what we're good at. It's totally foolproof and works 100% of the time in this game. Ooh, and a gun. Alright, petroleum, and we are... Fuck. Did you kill the boogeyman? <laughs> Damn right I did, kid. You better believe it, because us watching playthrough after playthrough of this game wasn't for nothing. Thanks for your quick thinking. The kid is okay, and you're still alive. But Jack, I'm sorry about your- what? Wait, what? It- his boyfriend? I'm just gonna assume the most simple explanation, cut this game some slack, and move on. The guy who attacked you was named Nicholas Burr. He escaped from Lincoln State Sanitarium earlier tonight. I don't mean to alarm you, but- What? What is it? By the time my officers arrived, his body was gone. But I killed him! He was dead! I assure you, we're doing all we can. This is an ongoing investigation. In the meantime, I'm going to have somebody take you to the hospital. You'll be safe there. Oh, of course. The one really big bad guy we happen to kill in our video game career isn't exactly impervious to gunshots. No, 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 no. He actually has the power to make it look like he's hurt by gunshot wounds and then abscond from the scene. Fantastic. Well, I'm not acting like he isn't the supernatural entity, knowing that he had what looked like the ability to teleport to various places on the map. Oh yeah, and I'm absolutely sure we'll be safe at the hospital. No chance in hell that'll pull a Friday part two on us while we're there. Well, that was babysitter bloodbath. God, I wish I could actually get the chance to see that asshat suffer and die. And the killer too. I wish we could actually get to kill him.